Fans of the original front-loading Nintendo are all too familiar with this. The blinking gray screen. A distant cousin of the Windows Blue screen of death, the blinking gray screen has prevented us from playing games since 1985. As children, we resorted to blowing cartridges, stacking cartridges, and using Game Genies. But like a man on fire with a pack of mint gum, all of these band-aids are temporary at best. Luckily for us, there's a modern solution to all our problems. And I'm not talking about alcohol. This time. Cue the blinking light win. A new 72-pin connector that overcomes the design flaws of the original. Want to learn how to install one of these bad boys? Then you've come to a right place. And I'm not talking about a bar. The only tool we need for this project is a handy dandy Phillips head screwdriver. We're going to start off by unscrewing the six screws on the back of the console. The holes are fairly deep, so make sure you have a long enough screwdriver. Once the screws are removed, we can take the top off. The next step is to remove the RF shield. This time we have seven screws to contend with. Now that the RF shield is out of the way, we can get rid of the original cartridge bay. There are four screws holding it in place. The blinking light win has its own bay, so the original can be filed away. There are only two screws left holding the motherboard in place located near the power supply. With the screws gone, we can remove the original 72 pin connector from the motherboard. Gently lift the back of the board to give yourself some room. Then pull back on the 72 pin connector to slide it off the board. It's held firmly in place, so don't worry about using a bit of force. You can file the old connector away with the cartridge bay. Now is a great time to dust and clean your console if it needs some lovin'. Get your blinking light win ready. It's clearly labeled to let you know which way it goes in. Lift the motherboard and slide the new connector into place. The new cartridge base sits right where the old one was. You'll notice this one doesn't have a spring, so no more pressing down in your cartridge to play your games. Now it's a matter of screwing everything back together. And now, the moment of truth. There you have it, a front-loading Nintendo with a reliable cartridge slot. And while nothing lasts forever, with a little research and love, we can keep our old consoles going for a long time. And, plot twist, I actually did get myself some alcohol. Cheers. Thank you for watching, we hope you enjoyed the video. Twin Opinion cares about your opinion, and your participation keeps us alive. So share your comments, hit that like button, and subscribe to the channel. You can also find Twin Opinion on Facebook, or visit our website at asamiero.com.